Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to play the Silly Soup Song uh, game, which is a phonic game in phase one of Letters and Sounds Phonics, um, and it is a pre-reading game. What you need for this game is a nice big bowl and a spoon. going to start off with our rhyming game. So my four rhyming things are a mat, a bat, a hat and last of all a cat. Now if I was playing this with children I'd have them sitting in a circle and they'd either take it in turns to put things in or we'd pass the bowl around and they'd all get a stir. So it's important to make sure that the children join in. Are we ready? We're making lots of silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to cook it in the fridge to make it nice and chilly. First thing I'm going to put in my soup is a bat. Let's say that together. Bat. Ready. We're making lots of silly soup, we're making soup that's silly. We're going to cook it in the fridge to make it nice and chilly. And we started off with a bat and now we're going to add a mat. We're making lots of silly soup, we're making soup that's silly. We're going to cook it in the fridge to make it nice and chilly. Now what do we start off with? We started off with a bat and then we had a mat. Now we're going to put in a cat. We're making lots of silly soup. We're making soup that's silly. We're going to cook it in the fridge to make it nice and chilly. We started off with a bat. Then we had a mat. Then we had a cat and last of all we're going to add in our hat. We're making lots of silly soup, we're making soup that's silly. We're going to cook it in the fridge to make it nice and chilly. Let's remind us of the things that we had in our soup bowl. We started off with a Then we had a mat, then we had a cat and last of all we had the hat. That's our rhyming version of the Silly Soup Song. You can play different versions of the Silly Soup Song. Um, you can use it by doing alliteration, by choosing a particular sound and putting things in your soup bowl that begin with a particular letter, focusing on the first sound, that initial sound. So I could have a spoon, a snail, a sack and a scarf. Another version is the blending version. So I could have a dog and we'd have to go d o g. A hen. H -e -n. Ant. A -n -t. Pig. P -ig. Another version you could do would be the alphabetical order. So you could go A or A for ant, what comes after A, B or B for bat, 
what comes after B, C or K for cat, what comes after C, D or D for dog. You can also do a counting version where you'd have all the things laid out in front of you and so you might have one ladybird, two cats, three spoons, four pennies, five pens. You can also do a seasonal version of this game so you could go out and collect things um, that you then put into your soup bowl or you could just have some things that you've got for each and so if I was doing winter I could have a snowflake, a snowman, holly, a bare twig, a reindeer, Father Christmas's hat. I can also play a version of this game using my senses so I could have lots of things that make sound so I might have a shaker, a triangle, a, whis a whistle um, and a bird whistle and I might make the sound and they have to find the right instrument um, or I could make the sound with them and we can copy before we put them into the soup bowl so if I had um, a shaker or my pair of maracas I could go shake 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 and we do that together shake 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 and then we put it into the um, the, the soup bowl and then ting ting a ting and then we put the triangle in and we'd all do those sounds together so we're using both of them and we'll keep recapping and we'll build up a musical pattern the last version of the silly soup song game that you can play is a themed one so if I've, my theme was mini beasts I could have an ant a ladybird a caterpillar and a snail. Hope you've enjoyed it and if you have subscribe, like and keep following Honestly Fiona. Bye!